Yeah, peace family back in hip hop news this week. Jim Jones has been uh, at it saying he'll body Lil Baby, J. Cole, Freddie Gibbs, and more in the booth. Jim Jones not exactly known for his lyrical capacity, but a standout member of Dipset, you know, he definitely had that quote unquote rider energy, you know, um, he was definitely able to help spearhead that into help him moving his career forward. So, um, Jim Jones says, he went to his Instagram with somebody's list, let's go back and say, okay. It seems to have started from a best rappers list argument. That's got fans and artists worked up. So a guy, Brian B. Miller from MTV revealed his top 10 picks of the best rappers in 2021. And, um, you know, Jim Jones wasn't happy with it. He said, I didn't make this list, but tell B that the list is cute. I'm gonna start chopping this list down one by one. Laugh out loud. Matters of fact, put me in the booth with any one of these artists and let's see who's left standing. That's how we could really settle shit like that. Westerns shoot up the booth. So, um, you know, I don't know if that's Jim Jones trying to, um, as I said, stick with that rider I- image that he's been able to cultivate for himself somewhat and um, say, yep, he he up for any challenge. So you see the list, Lil Baby, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, Conway, Benny the Butcher, Drake, Freddie Gibbs, Nas, Jay-Z and Jim Jones under, it says based on skill, performance, presence. So, you know, he actually, um, I guess, fortunate to be listed so he under, you know. So yeah, guys, he talking about Western shooting up the booth. Sound a bit um petty, but you know. In other news, it had been reported by Juvenile, who definitely shared some new light from his latest interview, that the Jay-Z recorded remix to Ha was without permission from Cash Money Records. You know, um, I, I don't know if people remember that. So, you know, 400 Degrees, it definitely came with what? Juvenile Single High. You had a Hot Boys remix, then you had a, a Cash, what was that, a Cash Money remix, and you had like a Jay-Z remix. So, you know, I was wondered about it, especially at the time. And, you know, during a recent interview, Juvenile spoke about how the song was a part of his success. You know, um, and he was saying that Jace did the remix unbeknownst to them. So it says, um, Jay sent the remix to us. It was kind of unexpected. We didn't know he was going to do that anyway. He did it on his own. So the idea came back to put Jay song, put the Jay song on the remix. Cause Jay-Z was on the album originally. They're like, we're gonna put Jay-Z on the album. GV says, I recorded Follow Me Now, not knowing that it was a Carlos Santana sample and not knowing it was already big before he said anything on it and it blew up. So quite an impressive um, tidbit of information, you know, um, makes sense. And probably if you listen to the record now, you see that, you know, Hove was definitely smart to jump on it. In other news, UK rapper Nines has been charged with four drug related offenses. So, you know, popular UK rapper Nines has been charged with four drug related offenses. The artist's real name, Courtney Freckleton, has been reported he was arrested on Thursday after searches were carried out at addresses in London and Hertfordshire. He was charged alongside 35 year old Jason Thompson as a part of an operation to tackle the supply of drugs. And they're due to attend, they were due to attend court, you know, when this was reported, which uh, he would have been there by now. So it says last year, Nines' album went to number one in the UK, beating the likes of Katy Perry and Metallica, you know, Crabs in a Bucket, Nines' third album, and he used it to speak about his past. In 20, 2019, the rapper was stabbed not far from where he grew up in Northwest London. According to London's Met Police, Freckleton and Thompson have been charged with conspiracy to import a controlled class B drug with intent 
to evade a prohibition, conspiracy to supply a class A controlled drug, cocaine, namely conspiracy to supply a class B controlled drug, cannabis, and conspiracy to conceal, disguise, convert, transfer, or remove criminal property. So um, one of the UK's biggest and most successful rappers, Nines, let us know what you guys think. Yeah, legendary screen actor, Clarence Williams III also passed away. You know, it's only right we pay tribute to his accomplishments, to the culture, which definitely have inspired a lot of hip hop artists as well too. You know, um, especially myself, I remember him in um, Tales from the Hood, Blue Hill Avenue, you know, a lot of um, movies that we grew up watching and stuff, Sugar Hill, you know, with uh, Wesley Snipes and a lot more. So um, definitely rest in peace to Clarence Williams the third. Also known for playing Link on the Mod Squad. You know, definitely a significant figure in Black Hollywood and um, a Black Power icon in the 1960s and 70s. And speaking of tributes, lastly, um, a tribute has been recorded for Dijon Reed, you know, so, you know, shine the light. This vigil was successful, taking place in Birmingham, King Standard. So uh, DJ Breed was a 14 year old who was slain and murdered. So I put together a tribute song for him, which you can hear on Bad That Music Group, YouTube, also on our SoundCloud and stuff. So, you know, I definitely want to extend peace, condolences and blessings to the family and, um, you know, hip hop cares, hip hop helps. At the online, you know, we represent a whole hip hop union. So, um, peace of the family. Yeah, sticking with the UK, the dance troupe, diversity, had a powerful Black Lives Matter performance on Britain's Got Talent in September 2020, which seen an inundation of complaints. You know, people calling in, there, complaining, there, very upset. And they say, show the prevalence of racism in the UK. So um, they recently won a BAFTA TV award and have gone out to speak and said, thank you for everybody who stood by us. They say that in a dark time of nearly 30,000 complaints, a torrent of racially charged abuse, threats, all of it. It was a dark time, but that support made a difference. So, um, you guys even see dancers being threatened for trying to express themselves and um, light-skinned dancers at that. So, you know, peace to diversity. I don't know too much about these guys, but they represented and um, they say they're about representing the minority. And now they're thankful because they're representing the majority. So YouTuber and um, artist KSI from the UK's manager has spoke about his US ambitions and says he'd be releasing a new album soon. They say his last album, Dissimulation, was the biggest selling UK album of the year, approaching gold certification. And the UK rapper and YouTuber, they say he's set to drop a new track on June the 18th featuring a whole bunch of different artists from the UK and the US. So, you know, the YouTube personality is now moving into music. You know, you guys let us know what you think of his music and stuff. Snoop Dogg has been landed a new role as an executive with Def Jam. So um, Snoop definitely showing his entrepreneurial prowess over the years stepping up from being just an artist now he's a new executive creative and strategic consultant allowing him to work across the label's executive team and artist raster with an immediate focus on a and and creative development snoop dogg is joining def jam as a senior strategic manager so um 
Congratulations to Snoop Dogg on his latest endeavor. He says he's trying to, you know, use his opportunity to go out and help artists, give them love, wisdom, guidance, and teach them some tricks that he learned in the game. It's being reported that Pharrell wants to open private schools to low-income families. Pharrell, with his non-profit group Yellow, will open his first school in Norfolk, Virginia, this fall. So Pharrell has been highly praised for his role as a producer, but his philanthropic work is just as well commendable. So he's working on developing some small private schools for students in low-income families. So um, if the system is fixed, and unfair, then it needs to be broken. Pharrell said in the news release, we don't want lockstep learning where so many kids fall behind. We want bespoke learning designed for each child where the things that make a child different are the same things that will make a child rise up and take flight. So, um, you know, great to see Pharrell extending his work over into education and into teaching kids and stuff like that. Definitely a commendable work. So yeah, peace to the family. We'll be back next week with some more hip hop news updates. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and um, share our content as much as you can. It really helps us with YouTube, especially as they be playing around with us getting this information out to the people. So um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, sub once again. Peace. family don't forget to like share and subscribe and check us out on about.online.com don't forget to check us out on facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content